everyone, everyone and welcome to Tango at Home. Today we will be working on baridas. We have prepared four different sequences for different levels. So let's go. Join us. So as today we will talk about baridas, it's better to start by explaining what a barida is, how to lead and how to follow, and actually how not to lead. Now, what the barida is not, it's not me dragging my followers leg around. Hmm? That is a no-no. The barida is a combination of my leading to the new direction, so I'm leading her to the new direction, and at the same time, my leading has the same speed as the barida. So, an exercise you can practice on how to lead the barida is the leaders will lead the new direction without putting the contact with the feet and at some point, while you keep leading this direction, you will contact the feet and you will then do the barida. We will show you. So we start from the same position. Here, I can either lead only the direction without doing the barida or you can do the barida with your leading and the same happens when you lead to the followers barida you can just do your own, your leg or lead the with, new direction with your leg the barida can be either slow or it can be fast and the barida can be without our axis transferring to the new place or with our axis transferring to the new place. So for the first barida, we will do a step, we will pivot the follower to the back ocho, catch her leg and do the barida, transferring our axis to the new position. For the second sequence, we go from the cross system to the back ocho, doing baridas in both steps of the back ocho. Then we stop at the projection and then lead the followers barida and finish with a parada. For the third sequence, the most important is for the leaders to make sure that they maintain the triangles while doing the barida. We will talk about the triangles in a while. And also here, change weight two times before rendering the saccada. Finish again with the barada.
the last sequence starts the same way as before, with a barida behind the leader. So we prepare triangles, we do the barida, but now we will do a big pivot and with the left we will do a barida crossing the follower. Prepare immediately, now follower's barida, back cross, and now again we will go for the follower's barida and finish with a sandwich and a parabola. By the term triangle we mean the geometry of the position of the legs. The first side of the triangle is the line connecting the legs of the follower. The second side of the triangle is the line connecting the legs of the leader. And the third side of the triangle is the line connecting our standing legs. As you can see, connecting all these lines creates a triangle in the center of us. Now look what happens here. We do the barida and we come to a new position and by drawing the same lines, one for the follower, for the leader and the common one, we have a new triangle. So in the baridas, we go from one triangle to another. So now, let's paint the triangles in all the baridas we use today. Here, as you can see, we're doing a sacada and not a barida, but we just wanted to show you that this triangle exists in sacadas as well, and it's really important, but that is a topic for another time. Second exercise, it's an exercise for both leaders and followers and it's a good exercise to practice the free leg, the one that is doing the barrida. When you are working your barrida, make sure that your leg is not fully stretched but you are unlocking under your knee. So it goes like this, unblock, stretch, unblock, stretch, unblock, stretch, unblock, stretch and make sure that at the same time you are working with your dissociation and block stretch forward and block stretch back and block stretch forward and block stretch back so that was all for today if you have any questions please write them in the comments down below or send us a private message and we will be happy to answer all your questions also, don't forget to check the video of Sara and Juan P this Thursday where they will be working the musicality on the Sunday, don't forget that at 4 p.m. we have the Tango Cafe with Sara and Humpy. But before... We have something great coming this Saturday. So stay tuned. Check our posts on our group because something amazing will start every Saturday at 4 p.m. with the four of us. See you guys. See you soon. Hey, do. Today we will be It's not an actual drug of the follower's leg. 